students today we'll be learning about the muscles which are located in the posterior compartment of the leg but before going in these i like to show you on this model we are looking at on the top the gluteal group of muscles then you are looking at the hamstring compartment partially you can you are visualizing the adductors then when we go down you are looking at a very important area we call it popliteal fossa and then if you look down this is where you can see the whole group of muscles which are denoted to the posterior compartment of the leg they are located and they are located in layers and then you can see down they are going to be attached to their distal parts of the foot okay now let's focus about the muscles who are located in the posterior leg and these muscles these are a group of muscles and they are organized in layers and for our understanding we have divided them into superficial and deep layers in some books it's been mentioned superficial intermediate and deep layer none of them is visible when you really exploring in a real human leg they are just for theoretical understanding so now let's take the way the superficial group of muscles and a deep group of muscles so now you are looking at this muscle which is the most superficial muscle and this muscle is given a name of gastrocnemius muscle and you can see that it is attached proximally by two heads and these two heads of my gastrocnemius muscle they join into blend into this tendon which is going down to be attached to the calcaneum bone which is one of the bone of my foot and you can see you can feel your own gastrocnemius within your own legs and the most superficial muscle which you just touch under the skin that is gastrocnemius muscle now to see inside there are two more muscles one is soleus and the another one is plantaris now this plantaris muscle may be present may not be present but this gastrocnemius and the soleus they are always there and the big bulk of this is coming from the soleus muscle now to to look into those we have to take this out so we can see inside okay now we have removed the one head of gastrocnemius muscle to show you this tiny muscle which is my plantaris this plantaris was partially visible before even removing this head of my gastrocnemius muscle but to give you a full view so we have removed that and as we have discussed earlier that this muscle may not be present in so many individuals look at it after traversing a short journey this muscle turns out into a tendon and this tendon it goes and blend with my tendocalcaneus sometimes some authors write it goes separately after talking about this plantaris muscle now there's a big muscle and this big muscle is my soleus muscle and this soleus muscle is number 3 first was gastrocnemius second was plantaris and third one is soleus muscle together these muscles contribute in making the peripheral heart of my leg now look at it my gastrocnemius plantaris and soleus they all merge and they give rise to this tendocalcaneus and this tendocalcaneus it goes down and attached on the calcaneum bone this tendocalcaneus is also famous with the name of tendo achilles So we have done the superficial layer muscles now we'll be talking about 
the deep layer group of muscles. On top, you're looking at a very important muscle and that is my popliteus muscle. This popliteus muscle, one of the very famous job which has been performed by this muscle is it helps in unlocking the knee joint because my knee joint cannot flex if this popliteus cannot come in play. The major contribution is coming from this popliteus muscle. Coming down, we can see that most medially located is this muscle belly and that is my flexor digitorum longus and then on the other side is my flexor hallucis longus and in between we have tibialis posterior muscle. Now as the name suggests flexor digitorum longus is going to my digits and the flexor hallucis longus is going to my big toe or the first digit and tibialis posterior it goes all the way down to be attached at various locations. All the muscles who are located in the posterior leg they are primarily helping us in bringing plantar flexion at the ankle joint and inversion at the subtalar joint complex. These muscles are controlled by tibial nerve and tibial nerve is one of the main branch which is coming from my sciatic nerve. 